it's uh, important how you behave in your first life and if you behave good you come back uh, as a high animal and if you behave bad like a giraffe <laughs> no like a um, maybe like a dog or something reincarnation is the teaching that after death the soul goes to a holding place and then enters a new human body some even believe we are incarnated into animals plants and even inanimate objects this cycle continues over and over again for thousands of years until the person supposedly learns what he or she is supposed to learn. It works with karma, the idea that your past lives of goodness and badness affects the quality and the position of your next incarnation. Well, that might sound good, but it makes no sense. Think about it. If this is true, then each person had a first incarnation. That means that each person then had perfect karma since he had no previous life in which he had done anything wrong. So if he had perfect karma and he didn't learn what he was supposed to learn during his first life, what makes him think that after hundreds, if not thousands of incarnations with accumulated bad karma, that he's now gonna be able to achieve the perfect state of union with this divine consciousness? And then there's the issue of final authority. When it's time to reincarnate, who or what is the cosmic authoritative figure that gets to decide whether or not you've been good or bad? These religions, by and large, have no God who judges, nor a gauge by which we are judged by. It's like having a justice system with no judge. It makes no sense. The deception of reincarnation is that there is no day of judgment, no need for the cross, and no need to trust in Christ. Aside from Jesus, no one has ever been perfect. Because of this, no one could ever be good enough to escape the supposed cycle of reincarnation. After death, we face judgment, meaning there is no second chance. That's why you need a savior today. On the day you die, you will not go back to the end of the line to try again. You're going to be judged. And without the righteousness of Christ, you don't stand a chance.